Mr. Speaker, the government of South Korea employs a number of non-tariff techniques in order to circumvent free trade deals. Uh, in their rush to sign deals, the Conservative government uh, appears to be prepared to throw Ontario's auto industry under the bus. Will the minister specifically contact the Ontario government and address the concerns raised by the Ontario government that it gets the same deal the U.S. demanded and received from Michigan? Here, here. Well, Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of International Trade. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank the member for the question. Uh, as he knows, negotiations are underway, and this government will only sign a trade agreement that's in the best interests of Canada. Exactly. It's also critical to know, and the Ontario government knows well, that the European Union, Australia, and the United States have signed deals with South Korea, Mr. Speaker. And in 2012, when the U.S. signed, since then we have lost $1.5 billion in exports to that country, Mr. Speaker. We're here to ensure that a free trade agreement with South Korea will level the playing field and ensure Canadian exporters have opportunities and more jobs for Canadians. Mr. We're consulting with the Congress. Uh, let me have the deputy.